The blood-brain barrier is microscopic. Uh, it's, it's a barrier uh, that invests the very fine blood vessels of the brain. So very large molecules, large compounds that circulate throughout the bloodstream can't get into the brain because they can't get across that barrier. Now often this is a good thing because a lot of bad things in nature are large compounds, poisons, etc. But sometimes very good things potentially can't get in, such as medical treatment. We combine low frequency uh, focused ultrasound with microscopic bubbles that are circulating throughout the bloodstream that we inject patients with in an intravenous. They interact with the focused ultrasound and they oscillate, they vibrate and cause a physical separation of the cells that make up the blood-brain barrier, allowing whatever is in the bloodstream to get into the brain. So there are some conditions, neurodegenerative illnesses, cancer, uh, and other conditions that really are primed for, for blood-brain barrier opening. We know that, for example, for brain tumors, we may have effective chemotherapy regimens that work throughout the body but just can't get into the brain. We also know that, for example, immunologic agents that may work in Alzheimer's disease, such as antibodies, are hundreds if not thousands, some thousands of times larger than typical compounds that can cross the blood-brain barrier. So that's another example of, of one where if you're able to just open the barrier and allow those uh, compounds through, they may be able to have an influence.